Hi everyone, in this video we're going to see how Cloud Services Catalog, now available in Innovation Labs, works. My name is Gianmario De Luigi, I'm part of the Outbound Product Management team for ITOM Visibility and Governance, and today I'm going to show you the requested experience for Cloud Services Catalog. Many users find it difficult to request for a new resource to be provisioned. The new release of Cloud Services Catalog in Innovation Labs is aimed at enhancing the service requester experience by featuring a new intuitive UI, many out-of-the-box capabilities, and requiring minimal input from users. From a UI point of view, if we go under Cloud Services, we can see that the catalog items are accessible based on different Cloud Services topics, and they're also present here at the very top of the Cloud Services page. Then if we scroll down, we'll find all the new out-of-the-box catalog items that are offered with this new release. And we can leverage different filtering and sorting options. In the current release, we have several AWS catalog items that come out of the box, with more to come in the upcoming releases. We can select from a variety of virtual machines to be provisioned, such as a Linux virtual machine on EC2, or even a Windows virtual machine on EC2. At the same time, we can even order an AWS S3 storage bucket or even an AWS DynamoDB table. Therefore, with these out-of-the-box catalog items, we can cover a variety of provisioning use cases. To the right-hand side of the screen, we can then see the stacks that have been recently requested and also their related status, so at a glance we can access them really quickly directly from the home page. So, let's now see how the out-of-the-box cloud catalog items work. Specifically, we're supposed to be the service requesters and we want to provision a Linux virtual machine on AWS EC2. So we'll click on the catalog item and we'll be prompted to a form where we need to insert the required information. As a matter of fact, as I said before, the input that is actually required to complete the request is very minimal. And in this case, the required information that we need to insert is about user group and Linux flavor. So we go down and select one of the user groups. In this case, we'll go for change management. Then for Linux flavor, we'll select Amazon Linux 2. And we could theoretically already submit our request. But we have further information that we could fill in. As an example, for a choose keeper, we can go and select CSC management key. Then for the network, we can go for demo VPC. We have different sizes that we can choose here, but we'll go for T2, small in this case. And then for subnet, we'll just select web2b in this case. Then for the SSH credential alias, We'll go for Linux login credential aliases. And then since the environment that we selected is in production and we can either choose where to provision it in subproduction or production, we'll then have the automatic installation of agent client collector on our provision VM. This is one of the many post provisioning actions that come out of the box with CSC. We don't have any other parameters or information to insert, so we'll just go and click order now. In this case, we'll see that we can request it for either ourselves, in this case we're impersonating RAM, or whoever other users, and we can even select more delivery information and special instructions that are optional. But we'll just click check out for this time. We'll be redirected to the request summary and if we click on this button, we'll see all the different stages that will be processed. We can now see that the request is waiting for provision approval. And we are lucky enough because today we're impersonating a type of user that can actually also approve these requests. As a matter of fact, if we navigate to my tasks here, we can see that there is a task that is awaiting for approval. We can see different information here that is the exact same as the one that we just submitted there, and we just select Approve. Now that all of our tasks have been completed, we can go to our stacks, we'll go to the EC2 Linux virtual machines, and we'll see that our stack has been deployed. It is active, 
and here we can see all the different details. Specifically, it's interesting to see under track operations on the stack status that all the pre and post provisioning activities have been completed. In this specific case, there was the deployment of ACC in the stack that has been completed, as well as the creation of the CCG policy scan on the stack itself. So these are two of the aforementioned actions, post-provisioning actions that are out of the box with CPG. We can even see more request details, such as the request parameters, we can then even view the activities, such as the change requests, incidents, tasks, and we can see here the task that has been completed for ACC deployment and scheduled operations that are related to this stack, as well as the dependency view of this provision VM. So we can see the full dependency view of this provision virtual machine. Another big benefit of CSC is the presence of automatic policy checks even before the provisioning itself. In this case, one of the examples could be whenever we are requesting for a Linux virtual machine that has multiple disks. So in this case, we can have up to 10 additional disks. The policy says that for up to two disks, no approval is necessary, but for anything beyond that, approval will be required. And we'll see, in fact, that when deploying this virtual machine, there will be a policy check that is done pre-provision. And we have many more examples of this. So again, out of the box is the keyword here. With CSC, we have out of the box catalog items, out of the box policy checks, and out of the box post-provisioning activities. This is the essence of the benefits of CSC. And I hope you enjoyed the video for today. I look forward to see you in Innovation Lab, try out CSC, tell us what you think, and really help us ensure we offer the best experience to you. Thank you for watching this video.